My name is Joel Dugan. I am the chair of the Department of Architecture, Art and Design at Fairmont State University. Um, and I helped to found uh, what was uh, the beginning of our public art projects uh, almost six years ago. And uh, we have quickly moved within the North Central West Virginia region, um, developing community assets uh, that help to create a sense of place and preserve the stories of the citizens of North Central West Virginia and um, the challenges that they overcame. Day giving is so important for all of us because it creates a financial pathway to making these projects possible. The mural that I stand in front of right now, the Mission Mural at Glen Elk, is a beautiful piece that talks about um, resurrection and return. Uh, return to a table, return to a community center. Um, this project was only possible uh, because of the support of donors uh, who selflessly uh, donated money to our need last year and allowed us to complete three projects throughout this north central West Virginia region. These projects made huge impact on the way that people um, identify a sense of home, a sense of place, and a sense of value uh, to their community. Uh, I think what you will see is that for every dollar spent we make sure that it creates the most amount of impact possible. For students, $5 could be the difference between um, having a brush on site or being able to have lunch provided when we're out at the murals. Um, each one of the students who participates in a mural receives award funding to compensate them for their time and that comes directly from the donor support and allows them to be um, supported in the field during their summer projects. I think the thing that I just want to talk the most about is um, the outreach that we do and the sense of discovery that is at the center of all of our teaching um, pedagogy. It is really important for us that our students understand that art is not created within a vacuum, that there is a community that relies upon art as a way to create a sense of belonging, a sense of being. Um, community art is a great opportunity for that because none of this is created without um, community exchange and collective envisioning. Um, it is really important to us that when we are creating uh, works for public view uh, that the community's vision is um, central and primary in our design and in our focus. We were really excited to have uh, the Art and Architecture Department uh, from Fairmont State with us. We believe as an organization again in the revitalization of people and our community and we also believe uh, that public art plays a role in uplifting a community and representing uh, the story of the work that we do and, and the work that our community represents. We did uh, a major upgrade of our facilities in terms of uh, improving the appearance. Uh, uh, we painted the buildings, repaired windows to make it and more attractive in our neighborhood. We see that Glen Elk is revitalizing the downtown Clarksburg and the Glen Elk section is coming back and it has a very storied history and we thought that public art on the side of this building that we had just painted uh, would be a great asset to our community. And we've seen people drive by and stop on the bridge and get out and look at the, the, the mural and drive by the lower road under the bridge. Under the bridge was a place where people hid. Um, where, where, where folks who were down on their luck would end up sleeping in the bushes down there, sleeping in the weeds, putting up, pitching a tent. And now in that under the bridge area, there's this beautiful mural of, that gives hope and brightness. What, what rejuvenation, what renewal, what uh, resurrection that represents. Certainly this work is not cheap. Financial assistance with this project, donating to these kind of projects adds a lot, not only to the community, but the participants who, who make the project. And I think we, as we look at Fairmont State University as, a, as an educational organization, uh, as part of the fabric of our community, uh, engaging students and uh, faculty and probably even alumni in all that process is a wonderful benefit. Uh, how, how Fairmont State is tied in with our community and our life in West Virginia. I just the wholeheartedly want to thank you all for um, what you have given to us um, and the nourishment that you've uh, provided the university and the students to continue to make impact um, in each one of their 
uh, disciplines and in all of their studies. We are wholeheartedly thankful for all you do and thankful for our donor support.